Hi everyone, let's do some math riddle. The title of this riddle is, where did the extra dollar come from? Let's say I have $50 and I recorded the amount I spent and my balance. Let's say I spent $20. My balance therefore would be 50 minus 20 equals $30. Then from the $30, I spent $15. My balance would be 15. And then I spent $9. My balance would be 15 minus 9 equals $6. And finally, I spent the remaining $6. And so my balance would be $0. If I get the total of each column, 20 plus 15 plus 9 plus 6 gives us $50 for the spend column. And 30 plus 15 plus 6 plus 0 gives us $51. What happened? There is an extra $1 here. Where did that extra dollar come from? You can pause the video and analyze this riddle. Let's solve this problem together. In order for us to solve this riddle, let's use extreme values so that we can see where the inconsistency lies. Let's say I spent $1, my balance would be 49. 50 minus 1 is 49. From this 49, let's say I spent again another $1. So my balance would be 48. And I spent again another $1 and my balance would be 47. And finally, let's say I spent that remaining amount of $47 and so my balance would be zero. If we add the spend column, we get this $50, which is consistent with the amount I started with. But notice that in the balance column, the total would be $144, which is clearly way more than the $50 that I have here. So this means that adding the spend column would always result to the amount I started with, but it is meaningless for us to add the balance column. This will not always total to $50. On the other hand, let's say I have a different value. Let's say I started with $50 and I spend the entire $50 right away. And so my balance would be zero. Therefore, the total of this spend column is 50 and for the balance, it's zero which is way different than this $50. So I hope at this point, it is now clear that adding the balance column is meaningless. This will not give us the same values over and over because depending on the amount you spent, this balance column would fluctuate. And when you add those results, you will not always get $50 for the sum. The only column that's meaningful to add is the spend column. There is no use of adding this balance column. And that explains why there appears to be an inconsistency right at the beginning when we presented the riddle. So thank you very much and we hope to see you again in our next math video. Bye for now.